Hey there, so today we have another review. This is a beer from Jolly Pumpkin. This is their La Roja uh, Raspberry. So this is their Flanders Red, or they call Sour Amber, which is a little bit easier to explain than like an obscure region in Belgium that most people, or sorry, almost everybody should know, wouldn't know about, right? Uh, 6.45%. Yeah. So I've, I've reviewed La Roja before, but I don't think I've ever had the raspberry one, so let's dig into this. Uh, beer comes in a wonderful, I mean, it's cloudy. Um, so definitely unfiltered and definitely a little bit of stuff in there because it has this like brownish hue to it uh coming in a medium amber color but yeah i mean that just could be the the malt so but yeah on the nose big bright acidity a little bit vinegary um right no not really yeah a little bit of that actually but then bright bright raspberry flavor honestly without the appearance i wouldn't have guessed this beer was this color um i'm not sure you can get the kind of malt flavor because it's just so raspberry which is quite nice mixed fermentation mixed fermentation raspberry nose on the nose like you know you guys know what that smells like right sour, sour raspberry mm, quite sour up front yeah uh nice lactic hit nice raspberry flavor oh there you go quite dry okay i suspect that is thp so THP is um, actually not even trained off flavor in, in, in uh, even up to advanced history. I don't even know if they trained it at the master level. But it is a um, aftertaste mouthfeel sensation kind of thing that some people r report as like Captain Crunch cereal mousy, which I don't even know what mousy means. But Cheerio is definitely one. If you look on um, uh, what what uh, 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 Milk the Funk. Milk the Funk Milk the Funk has a sour beer Wikipedia. That's That's how cool these beer gigs are, that they have their own sour beer wikipedia <laughs> anyway it's huge I, I just like did a little bit of research for you guys i whatever it's, it's it's one of the most prevalent um all flavors in sour beer i actually never really learned it, it took me forever because because for the longest time people didn't even really talk about it and then took a while for people to even start talking about it and then you're not even trained to detect it so you just got to drink a lot of sour beer eventually like you sort of like have a have a good palate also to tell you hey this is what you're looking for and they actually do a pretty good description. So maybe I'll post a link uh, on the description below. But So what happens is it's a brightest city, some out of like juicy raspberry flavor, raspberry seeds. And then as it goes down, all of a sudden it's like very empty. On, it's like really nothing. And you get this like just like lasting drying flavor. Um, so I suspect this beer has a good amount of CHP. Or this beer is just like bone dry and I just don't know what THP is and I'm an idiot. So... Very possible. Uh, what is it? Humility. This got to be a saying. Like, uh, here, I'll, I'll write one for you guys right, right now. Uh, humility is the uh, is, is 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 the journey to knowledge. There you go. Humility is the journey to knowledge. Yeah, yeah. All right. Like, you don't learn when you think you know. You don't learn anything when you think you know everything. Uh, and you never know everything, so, right? Um, yeah, I suspect that's, like, quite prevalent in the beer. Whatever. THP, all flavor, no all flavor. That's what's perceived here. And the beer is just very empty and hollow and um, lacking on the palate. It has a really nice aroma, good flavor up front. Quite drinkable. I'm going to finish this. But it really doesn't have, like, enough going on. Like to... And then it has a, a little bit of sharp apple cider vinegary kind of thing, which is part of, I think, part of the style, too. It's fine, but... Um, B, B minus ish, somewhere around there. 80, 83. No, it's better taste. It's tastier than that. 84, 84 La Roja with raspberry. Fine beer. Um, generally these beers like really, really impress me. I think a B is still a very strong score, right? Otherwise, like I've given, I've given Jolly Pumpkin beers A's A pluses. So cheers.